Hello po. Welcome to Actually Unite. Thank, Thank you very you much at pinaulakan mo kami. No, not at all. It's, it is a pleasure. Nung, nung dumating yung panyaya sa akin, eh, di sabi ko, bakit hindi? Sa, sa wakas. Sa... Oo oh, naman, at magkumparit kumari tayo. Ah, mayon, Meron ah, kaming ah. inaanak yung anak ko ng isang mayor from Isabela, si Mayor Bodji D. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, a little busy, but... I uh, commented kanina na you lost a lot of weight. Is I, it because of your health club, hindi? Well, uh, I try to keep a health regimen. Talagang uh, nat natutunan ko yun sa ama ko is to try and uh, exercise. Lalo na pagka uh, nangangampanya ka o nasa labas ka, it's very important, you know, because you have to keep going, you don't eat at the right time, hindi ka natutulog. So, those things have to be maintained. Speaking of your father, what was President Marcos like as a father growing up? Kasi how old were you when he was elected, Bale? Um, yung presidente. yung unang birthday ko sa Palacio was eight. Eight, eight years, years old. old. Oh. So most, actually all of your teenage years. All of my teenage years and including your twenties. Most of my twenties. Uh -oh. yeah, mga twenty-eight na kami nung umalis. So that was uh, that was a long, long time. Yeah, in the was Palacio. he a disciplinarian? Well, hindi naman sa disciplinarian in the sense that uh, he would make very clear kung anong, uh, anong hinahanap niya sa inyo, what mm -hmm. he expects from you. And he would make it very clear if you did not live up to the standards that he put, that uh, may, na medyo masama ang loob niya sa iyo. Uh, in terms of actual pure discipline, yung pumapalo or something like that, hindi naman gano. Ang e mommy mo? Mami ko, mas lalong yes. hindi. Masyadong mabait yun. She cannot even, uh, she, she would just, uh, siguro pag hindi na niya matiis yung, uh, yung frustration niya, iiyak na lang yun. Pero I, in terms of actual, actual beating, as, the, as yes. the English call it, I was beaten more in my school in England than I ever was by my parents. But when you were studying here, nasa Lasal ka, La diba? Green Hills, yes. How was it? Uh, was it a problem dahil marami kang bodyguards? Were the other boys... Ilang? Medyo aloof ba sila sa'yo? Well, I'm sure nadaanan mo rin yun. Of course, Hindi, pero high school na. Oh, so medyo iba na yung ano Ka nun. Kasi kung bata naman, yung mga ganong, ganong edad, hindi pa masyadong naiisip. Natutuwa lang sila. May mga baril ba yan? May mga ano. Yan lang naman ang tinatanong. But uh, madaling makalimutan yan. Basta't mga bata, nakikita mo, magsasama-sama. Maglalaro yan. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. And... Uh, when it when it would have been a problem in high school, I had already left, so I was uh, in the in in England. Hindi na masadyo yung security nakikita. Nung ano ka, when you were growing up, did you have children's parties sa Malacanang? Oh, madalas, madalas. In fact, yung mga children's parties namin, yung mga party namin uh -huh. mga magkakapatid, do naginagawa sa sa palasyo because uh, we would invite a lot of people. They would have performers and things like that. We'd have we'd have great parties in the palace. All your life, kasi, bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way. The, the only way you can uh, explain uh, my have, having entered politics is mm. definitely because of uh, how my father really, uh, that he, he even said it in his, uh, when he was still alive, uh, that, that uh, he would say, I have committed not only myself, to the work that I have done. I have not committed only my person, but my wife and my family too. And uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not, not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the, the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na, alam na namin na kahit papano, yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for, for the rest of our lives, so, in whatever fashion. So, and it, it's turning out to be true because how can something that that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just, just go away. So kahit na ngayon, ilang taon na ito, we're still feeling the effects of uh, what, my father, what my father did. And I have no doubt, uh, to the day I die, I will be feeling those effects. You're the middle child, ba? I am the middle child, yes. How is it? Kasi ako youngest, eh, so medyo na be baby talaga ako. Ikaw middle child, only boy pa. Uh, siguro, I don't know. It never felt Dominating like... Dominating bang ate si Aimee? In the, uh, ate. She was a proper ate. Tinuturoan kami. Kaya halimbawa, nung bata pa kami, nung una kaming dumating lalo sa England dahil uh, hindi, hindi kami marunong. Bakit kayo pinadala sa England? Mostly security. Yes. Uh, madami kaming problema sa security dahil uh, ako, 
Maraming Anong mga year na when you went to England? I left it? for England in 1969. My first, uh -huh. no, 70. 70 was my first year there. And then you stayed there until when? I stayed there for almost 10 years until uh, the eight, I until I left for uh, University of uh, Philadelphia of Pennsylvania. Nagwarton ka, yeah, diba? that's when so, I went to Wharton, yeah. Do you feel na those 10 years helped you a lot kasi at least um he medyo ordinary kang citizen. In, oh, malaking in, oh, malaking bagay dahil in fact that was one of the reasons no that my father but uh, of of course he would have preferred Na oh. dito kami naka, dito kami nakatira sa Manila. How did you keep in touch with what was going on dito? It was Because syempre when martial law was declared, you were abroad. It wasn't easy. I was uh, when martial law was declared, uh -huh. uh, we had expected something dramatic to yes. happen. Uh, because marami nang beses na my dad would say that this is a real problem, we may have to do this, we may have to do that. But um, in, 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 in general, how did we keep up? My parents would send us newspaper clippings. Mm -hmm. uh, we would call, we would write. In, in, in my school in England, there was, uh, you had to write one letter to your parents every week. So that uh, that was it was actually a good thing because iba yung tawag eh iba yung iba yung sulat yung sulat hinahawakan mo and you can read it again and again and it really uh, taught taught I think both sides including my parents the the habit of writing so they would send us the news uh, nung nauso na yung um, videotape magpapadala yes. ng videotape so that they would try but inevitably pag uwi mo rito maraming nangyari na hindi mo na namalayan so you just have to catch up Medyo, let's go naman dun sa lighter side. Ang first girlfriend mo ba since you were in England? British ba siya? <laughs> Ay, naku, nung nasa England ako, wala akong panahon. Hindi, hindi kami pinapalabas na iskulahan. They would not, they would let oh. me out. I would be in school for, isang semester namin was three months. Mm -hmm. Sa tatlong buwan, I would be able to sleep one night outside of school. Yun lang. Yun lang. Uh -huh. And every month, I could spend one Sunday out of school. So, so when you'd make legal, dito na? Ah, dito na siguro sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kasi dito, dun, halos di ka, kahit yung mga restaurant, yung mga bar, di ka makapasok, yung mga nightclub. Eh dito, hindi masyadong stricto, kahit basta't may kasama kang may edad, they will let you in. Do you feel na a lot of the girls were <laughs> fawning over you and pinagkakaguluhan ka dahil bongbong Marcos ka? Uh, or do you think it's your charming personality? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that they were fawning over me to begin with. Uh, I don't know kung bakit lahat ng tao ang kanilang impression sa akin are that the women were fawning over me. There were, believe me, there were times kung I would be calling, trying to get a date, and I couldn't get a date. Why suddenly this image of uh, women fawning all over me? But I, I don't know. Uh, I think yung uh, pag, you, you tell me if I'm right. Yung paganak ng presidente that last mga five ten minutes, unless may complex na talaga yung tao, yung talagang galit sa yung kadaal anak ng presidente, wala ka na magagawa. But karamihan naman ng mga tao, pagka nakausap mo na, after 5-10 minutes, wala na, that's over. Uh, except for the fact that you're surrounded by... Would anybody <laughs> have the guts to say na, Oy, pare, galit ako sa'yo, bakit ganyan naman ang mga magulang mo? Would they dare do that to you? Hindi naman. Meron, magkikriticize sila, pero hindi yung galit ako sa'yo. Sasabihin, bakit naman ganyan? Alam mo yung tao, hindi ganyan dapat, hindi ganyan ang, hindi tama ang ginagawa, hindi, hindi ganyan ang tingin sa ginagawa ninyo, etc., etc. So, uh, Inevitably, that, that would happen. Kasi naman, if you have good friends, uh, they will tell you what they believe to be the best. Pagka naman sa tingin nila, it's, 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 it's a criticism that is not merely to, not, not mischievous or naninira lang, then it, it, that's, that's valid and you just accept it. How would you react about the criticism hurled at your parents through the press and through the mass media? But before you answer that, we're going to pause for a while. Napaka-interesting ho ng ating discussion with Mr. Bong Bong Marcos. Please don't go away. Asking you how you'd react to criticism Kasi ako, I, I would be affected by it Would it affect you as well? Uh, I guess nung talagang mabigat na at saka masakit na Well, there were times, no, that uh, especially after 86 When people were taking real liberties with the truth And uh, wala nandoon kami hindi na hindi, hindi kami makasagot hindi ko hindi wala kaming access sa mga media wala tayong magagawa ganun lang talaga but yung run of the mill na pangkaraniwan na criticism kung tawagin let's say sa sa mga payagan sa radyo sa TV well i have been i we, we have been experiencing my father's political life for a long long time i remember in 1963 64 when he was senate president wala kaming narinig kundi oust senate president marcos every day i remember that so 
we have been used to, we've been used to this kind of thing no and uh, kahit papano if you're in politics there's no way around it the, wala ka namang magagawa na lahat masaya eh May, merong merong magkikritisize kahit ano pang gawin mo so you just have to take it uh, as it comes and as i said keep your mind open and kung talagang uh, it is a it is a constructive criticism then sige makinig ka but uh, you also have to not take it all to heart because kung minsan etong mga nagsasalita ng uh, pinipintas ang kayo is not because they really believe that dahil kalabang mo eh Siyempre. ano pa naman gagawin nila alam nga naman na eh, they pupuriin ka so they will they, it is part of their job so you just have to take trabaho lang ganyan lang naman talaga bong how many percent of your father's ideology did you believe in meron ba times na sasabihin mo hindi pa hindi ganyan eh ito yung pananaw ko lal na i guess when it came to youth affairs well i think in it uh, it came after I was. It so happened that when all this uh, turmoil was going on here, um, I was in the. I was in England studying political. Well, one of the subjects I was studying was political science, and many times, especially when it is uh, explained to you in a very idealistic way, as it is in school. Um, sa sabihin ko, oh, di kung ganon, bakit yung sa amin ganito? Then uwi ako, Dad, explain niyo nga sa akin ito, and we would we would we would argue. And I came around to his way of thinking. And uh, uh, in terms of the pure, the pure fundamental ideology of, of, of what my father was uh, espousing, uh, I think that still is valid even today. Um, of course, the, the, the time has changed and much has changed. The Philippines has changed. The Philippines have changed. Do you talk to me? Nandito ako nung uh, pinag-uusapan ng kabataan. Ang kabataan ngayon, napakalaking iniba na kesa sa kabataan na nakaraan. Do you think pwede pa tayong bumalik dun sa... Could it be possible that martial law would come back to the Philippines? Could a person be as strong as your father was? Or do you think we have enough electoral safeguards now that malakas na ang Senado at Congreso na impossible ng mangyari yun ulit? Well, speaking as an oppositionist, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know na malakas na ang Congreso at saka ang Senado because uh, the the Pangasinan Express is one term that has been used about the House mm -hmm. of, about the Congress. But uh, I I think what the uh, it is not what, what, how my father was able to consolidate his uh, foundation was really the key. And if we are going to talk about martial law, ang martial law, ang, ang uh, inaasahan mo, ang sinasandala mo dyan, ang militar. Yes. At kung ang militar ay nanghati, eh, wala kang mo, hindi mo, hindi mo magagawa ang martial law dahil pag nag-declare ka ng martial law, kalahati lang sasama sa'yo o ilan lang ang sasama sa'yo. Yung iba, tumututul, kakalabanin ka pa. So, it won't, it won't work. Uh, it really, you know, many people, many, many people have the impression na naging ganun yung ama ko dahil naisipan niya mag-martial law. Mm -hmm. Hindi sa ganun. Ang nangyari, inisa-isa niya yan. And he had to consolidate his power, his, the foundations of his power. And you cannot, it is, it is not something that you do by the stroke of a pen. It is really a, um, a political exercise yeah, by which you bring all the forces allied to you together. Na pag you declare something like martial law, I do not believe that the military is uh, is as united uh, or or has been as united since uh, the events of '86. But uh, are we evident. better off this way now? Wala tayong general Verna, strongman lang. Na medyo yung power talaga is divided. We are talking about friends of mine, so uh, <laughs> I would beg to differ. I would beg to differ about uh, uh, your outlook. So, but. I don't know. Uh, the military should really should really be as one, uh, and mm -hmm. it is. You know, I spent a little time in the military, and to see soldiers uh, literally shooting each other is a, a very painful thing, and uh, that is something that is to be avoided. So, if we can avoid, if we can avoid the involvement, perhaps of of, of uh, soldiers in politics, maybe that would be something. But. The way things have happened, the way the, hist the history has, mm -hmm. has unfurled itself, is that I would say that uh, the soldiers have perhaps also earned a right to be part of the political process. Now, how they will exercise that right is something that we in the Philippines will have to dis discuss for ourselves and decide for You're ourselves. You're not talking about a junta. No, not oh. necessarily. Um, not necessarily. I, that's what, that's, that, you see, there is a... There is a um, an idea, especially from the Western, mm -hmm. Western governments, that, gov that the civilian authorities over the military should be paramount. I agree with that. But whether or not the, the, the military should be allowed to make themselves felt 
as citizens is perhaps another question that we in this country, paano mo ngayon paatrasin ang ramo sa politika? Hindi na naman sasabihin, let us now suddenly declare that all military people are not allowed to involve themselves in politics. That would be crazy because you just couldn't do it. Siyempre naman, are, dahil at silang botante na, din. Hindi lang sa ganun, nandyan na sila. Mm -hmm. eh, Pinagpag-usapan natin si Greg Hunasan kung tatakbo o hindi. Nandyan na ang ano, paano mo sasabihin? Kung oh, tumakbo siya, iboboto mo ba siya? Si Greg, depende uh -huh. sa plataforma niya. Uh, and so far, sa pag pinapag -usapan, yung nap napapag-usapan, he is still reformist. And uh, mm -hmm. what uh, he intends to do, what, what he has said that he would do... Does it impress you? It seems to it seems to jive with much of uh, what, much of my thinking. So I would I would like to get get into it more. I would speak to him about it. Mm -hmm. But on the face of it, I, I would say that perhaps uh, we we would have much in common. Kinokuna nila ako. But before we go to our commercial gap, I need a lighter question from Tita Swording. Gusto ko marinig yung bong bong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes, Tita you, Chris. Swording. And good evening, bong bong Marcos. No. Uh, kasi bong bong <laughs> uh, when, nung uh, tumawag ako sa phone sa office ng uh, ng office mo no, sa congressman's office uh, para bang hanggang ngayon binabanggit pa ang uh, Chris at Chris sa'yo totoo bang nagkaroon ka ng crush kay Chris Aquino aray ko naman just go <laughs> Okay, sasagutin ni Bong Bong yan after you pause for this please don't go away We're back, Arnelli. Ano? Ano ba lang? Ano embarrass daw ako sa tanong mo? Kala ini bong bong pina feed ko yan. Ale lang ale yung may kung meron na karon siya ng crush sa yon. Yung bayon? No hindi Chris. Sorry thing, I'm so embarrassing. Atalaga, sorry Chris pero. Uh, nung nakausap ko kasi yung secretary ni uh, Bong Bong sa office, Bong -bong. lagi daw binabanggit yung ano, Chris Aquino hanggang ngayon. Totoo uh, yan. Pagka lumalabas ako, oh, ay, 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 ito nagka-cross. Uh, Hindi, is it because siguro may Romeo and Juliet mentality yes, talaga ang mga that's Filipino? That's absolutely right. Pagka nagla, nag, nag, lumalabas ako at nagsasalita ako before people, uh, siyempre at, at, at one point mag-open forum kung minsan mm -hmm. o sa press conference, lalo sa kabataan, laging tinatanong na uh, kung ikaw ba'y papasok sa larangang pelikula, uh, papayag ka ba na leading lady mo si Chris? Yan ang mga tanong nila sa akin. So, up to now, yan napapag-usapan. Dahil nga dun sa nabanggit mo. Yung nagawang bong-bong you know, and play. Chris. Ano na, ano? Yes, Senorita Preciosa. I have a follow-up question para kay Congressman. Ano? I understand your wife is a lawyer. Uh, was it, what is it like to live with a lawyer wife? Does she nag? Do you argue a lot? Do Will you debate like, at the dinner table? Hillary Rodham Clinton. Well, <laughs> see, Lisa ba has the Lisa, tendency. no. Lisa is like, you know Lisa. She's, yes, not, she's not at all like that. Uh, Lisa does not bring her work home. Pagka, mm -hmm. uh, is she a practicing lawyer? Yes, she is. She is practicing Corporate right or criminal? Uh, she was in litigation, but she's uh -oh. now uh, sort of going towards corporate mm -hmm. more and more. Uh, on, on a professional basis, lalo na on, in my work, I need legal opinion. And mm -hmm. kung babasa ko or something, and there's nobody else to ask, I need a legal opinion. I am lucky to have my wife. So to you work to, hand in hand. Well, with your wife. no, we, mm -hmm. we, 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 in terms of profession, because she is a she is a professional and she's a lawyer and she's a very good one because I've worked with her, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so when it comes to lawyering, uh, out sa sabi ko, hindi naman talaga ako abogado sa so tatanong ko sa kanya. How active is she in politics? Does she go house to house then pag kampanya or it's she's not she's slowly getting getting into it. You know, uh -huh. hindi naman siya sanay sa politika. Uh, in fact, pagka sinasabihan siya na kailangan siya pupunta rito, lalabas diyan. She always says I'd rather work uh, quietly behind the scenes, maybe help with the with the arrangements How and all that. How is your mom as a mother-in-law? Oh, she's great. She's great. Adelaga. Oh, yeah. In fact, I, I, I always tease her that she's nicer to our to the in-laws than she is to her actual <laughs> kids. She's much stricter with the kids. With uh, Greggy and Tommy and Lisa, she's always very supportive. Pero sa inyo? Well, sa amin, eh, iba na talaga pagka-anak, eh, magkamali ka lang. Anak mo yun, you know. She, she says she... she again, it's, the, it's mm -hmm. those levels of standards that... Uh, it's those levels of standards that uh, my father said. I suppose it's the same kind of thing that uh, she's trying to continue to to uh, to keep uppermost in our in our minds. That there uh, is a level of standard that you. How old is your son me. now? My son is my son is uh, 
10 months. Oh, 10, 10 months, months old. So, one year na. March, March na pinanganak. So, do you think na your son will also be geared towards following in your footsteps? I always say that whatever, no, my, my son will not be pushed or he will be exposed to mm -hmm. everything that, that goes on in the, in the real world. But uh, he will have a choice. And uh, when the time comes for him to decide what he, his career will be, he will have a choice. He can be a musician, he can be a writer, he can be a politician, he can be any, anything he wants. Speaking uh, Chris, of exposure, Chris. sorry, na, last question. Oh, sige, sige. Ito, kasi, kasi, gusto eh. oh, oh, sige, 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 sige. exposure. Kasi, oh. kasi, ba, ang 1986 had a profound effect on my life, as I'm sure it had a profound effect on your life. Do you think na, um, with what happened, did it bring your family closer together? Dahil, ba, in the face of adversity, talaga, sino bang nag unite kung hindi magkakapamilya? Totoong totoo yan. At uh, they, pagka sinasabi sa akin, is there, what are the good things that happened, you know, because of this, uh, the exile? And sinasabi naman nila, that, uh, sinasabi ko, isa sa pinakamagandang nangyari, talagang nag, nag, uh, naging malapit kami mga pamilya. And, yes. and many, and my, I wasn't married yet then, but my uh, sisters were with small children. Mm -hmm. And sinasabi nila, mas, mabuti na rin in a sense that they now fa found the time kasi kung hindi nangyari yun, they'd be working, they'd be doing things. Hindi nila nakikita yung kanilang anak. Whereas now, they are able to, to just, they, well, during the, when we were in exile, they could spend time yung walang ginagawa. Exile. Was it a difficult adjustment? Kasi for us, it was a very difficult adjustment because um, biglang your, walang adjustment period, di ba normally when someone is elected, meron kang Time for in ano, di ba? Like in yeah. the states, from Let's November, January, pa bago nagaka inauguration. So mm. maganda yung turning over. Ito bigla biglaan. Sa inyo ba ano? Was it? How did it feel? Na biglang hello, goodbye Philippines, was, hello America. And it was. It was. Uh, <laughs> It was shocking. I mean, in the pure sense, yung, you were, you were, you were. Nalaman mo ba ako sino yung mga tunay na kaibigan? Oh, oh. They say that's what normally happens. Well, ano? talagang uh, makikita mo talaga kung Marami sino yung didikit o hindi. Marami ba talagang balimbing, Bong? <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> Bakit? Sorry! Yeah. Ano, ah, ah, as, oh, ano. as we've mentioned, this is history in the making, oh, oh. you know? Pero matagal-tagal bago yung, maulit ito na... Masagot mo muna sa kanya oh. yun, yung tungkol sa balimbing. Ah, yung balimbing? Oh, sige. Oh, 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 mamaya makopan naman yung sabi mo. Sige. Kung maraming balimbing, Hindi, alam mo ang tingin ko ganito people people are not are not hindi naman masama ang tao meron masama talaga na hindi naman hindi naman kailangan mamintas pa eh marami pang sinasabi but there are people na makikita mo eh, that's, that's their survival din eh hinate mo ba kami? Ha? Ah! 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 ito na nga ito ang magandang meaning that to him <laughs> Na ano, kasi Singa. before, she, I was telling him na I was a year and a half, tapos sabi ko, kulang nalang isipin ko meron kayong mga horns sa ulo ko. <laughs> Dahil, syempre, di ba yun ang kinalakihan ko? So, Singa, I was wondering Singa. kung was the situation the same for them? Well, uh, I think, you know, in our case, because we have, as I said, been in politics for a long time, yung mga personal na ano namin, hindi masyadong pumapasok yan sa hate, and oh. love and, <laughs> well siguro sa umpisa you know when you unang unang reaction mo eh uh, sasabihin mo bakit naman ganito bakit yung mga taong ganyan? but after a while uh, lalo na yung sa 86 nung nasa Hawaii uh -huh. kami sabihin mo ganun talaga ang buhay wala kang magagawa just get on with it uh, and again we really got, we really came to the conclusion that uh, to cloud your mind mm -hmm. with all of this uh, emotion especially when you're talking about your public life is is a dangerous thing so iniwasan namin yon nakakayanan niyo yon to separate it you have to you just have to okay arnelli ah, oh ito na nako nakabuelo rin ako <laughs> sorry ano eh ibang klase ka talaga nag absent ka lang ng isang uh, lunes eh nag turbo ka na eh <laughs> <laughs> kasi dito jo marie nagpapa impress oh. <laughs> Okay, but you, you are very, very good. Oh. Mm. Pero Chris, alam mo, sinabi nga natin, history in the making ito, na-interviewin mo si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Now, hindi na tayo siguro makakapag-antay pa ng isang beses na maulit ito. Yes. Now, kung sakasakali, magkabalik na ng sitwasyon na si Congressman ang may show at ikaw naman ang i-interview. Pwede, ba pwede ano, siya mag Ano kaya kung balik na rin natin for a while? Congressman, is there a question in your mind na noon pa, hindi mo pa namimit yes. si Chris, puro sa dyaryo lang, ano gusto mo itanong sa kanya? Yung mainit-init, ha? Well, I suppose... Ganun, Kahit hindi political. <laughs> Kahit hindi political. Oh, wag mo na political. Ay, hindi political. Dahil hindi na wala naman sa larangan oh. politika si Chris. So, I would... No, I would... So, yung mga na-headline. Yung sinabi mo, parang... Uh, 
A question for Chris Aquino from Congressman Bongbong Market. Hindi, yung sinasabi mo, akalain nyo lang sa amin, may sungay na and all that. How did that come about? Because we never, you know, we were all... Hindi naman ikaw siguro personally, but syempre, di ba, ang nakatatak sa utak ko, the reason my dad was in jail was because of your dad. So, tapos, ang... Oh, eh, gano'n ka diretso daw. Hindi, totoo naman ho talaga yun. Kasi nga, I was explaining to him, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. 18 months? So, 18 months lang ako nun. So, syempre, ang kinalakihan ko, dumadalo kami sa Fort Bonifacio. And tinatanong ko, bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Or, and syempre, bumabalik sa daddy mo. But then, I remember, of course, na your mom was very nice to my dad nung nagka-heart attack ang daddy ko at ang mommy mo nag-facilitate na makapunta kami sa Amerika. So, hindi naman ako blinded totally na lahat ng ginawa nyo evil. Hindi naman ganon. Uh, I, I, I once saw your dad when he uh -huh. came to uh, when he came to the palace. Yes. Uh, na balitaan namin. Sa, I was hanging around. Si daddy nag-iisa sa opisina niya. Sabi ko, bakit walang tao? Bakit walang bisita? Sabi, pupunta si Ninoy. Mag-uusap silang dalawa. And your father arrived. And mm -hmm. I was so surprised. Nakatago ako sa likod. As usual ko, basta't may, may, may alam kong medyo importanteng nangyayari. Like, you talk about history uh -huh. in the making. That was history in the making. Uh, nakatago ako sa likod. And I was so surprised. Ang tawagan nila, Brad. Because they were both from Upsilon, Upsilon. And I remember a question that my father asked. Uh -huh. and it's, your, your father asked this. Sabi, Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako linagay sa Fort Bonifacio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko sa'yo, uh -huh. Brad, kung ikaw nasa position mo, spa position ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Yun, uh -huh. nagtawanan silang dalawa. So I suppose they were able to to uh, see further than, uh, than well, that. Well, siguro, di ba, pagka mag-anak ka, mas matindi talaga ah, yung nararamdaman uh, well, mo. Well, sa bagay, kung... Uh, Kung ganun ang papagos... Siguro, if um, eight months from now and you were jailed, siguro, yung, yung anak mo rin naman, siguro, yun ang kalalakihan. Kung sino man yung in power at that time will also be, I guess. Well, I, it, I suppose it's inevitable that uh, that, that would happen. Basta sa... Especially sa Philippines where the politics is taken so personally. Yes. Napakalaking problema natin yan dito sa Pilipinas. Dapat ang... ang politiko hindi naman na uh, hindi naman dapat pinapasukan ng personal but uh, but in fairness naman I've always said every time na papanood ko si Bongbong na napakatalino niya napaka-articulate na at mukha naman siyang hindi makakapatay ng tao so hindi naman <laughs> siya sa diba mukha siyang mabait talaga please uh -oh. Yes. Uh, excuse me, Ay. no? Ang ganda kasi ng discussion na talaga sobra over my dead body. Sa totoong gusto ko lang, uh, saludong-saludo ako sa inyong dalawa, hinahangaan ko kayo kasi napakatalino nyo, ano? Pero kayong dalawang tatanungin ko, uh, someday, may ambition ba kayo na uh, tumakbong presidente? And would you be like your father? Uh -huh. In case you'll be At maglalaban pa kayong dalawa? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ako, would the scenario be the same? I think, in my case, um, mas mahirap siguro because babae nga ako. And yung sa mommy ko was a very special situation. I think, to this day, very, very male chauvinistic ang ating society. So, mahihirapan pa ho ang mga babae. I don't know if 30 years from now, the situation will be different. Uh -huh. Pero um, ako siguro, gusto ko maglingkod sa mga mama mayan, but I don't think politics is my cup of tea at this moment. Yes, uh, what about Bong Bong? Excuse me, Bong Bong. Una-una, I beg to differ. Ang, oh. ang mga, wala nang, ano, wala nang, di, la, wala lalo na ngayon wala. sa, we'll talk again about the youth. Yung mga kabataan, yung mga chauvinistic na dating uh, cultural uh, impediments natin, wala na ngayon yan. And I would say that uh, certainly, in in our society, there are so many many of the many women are dominant in their societies. As in sa Ilocano, talagang matriarchal society kami, and we really respect the role of a mother, wife, and uh, the woman in. So in, I guess you make culture. a very good husband, kasi di well, ba? Well, I, I, I try. <laughs> what about you? Yung about running for the presidency, I don't know. Uh, Is it one step at a time? No, I did not enter politics to uh, to become president. Uh, I, you entered it for what? Purpose? I entered very specific yung akin na dun lang nasa Hawaii kami. I remember when we arrived, they literally took everything away from yes. us, and when we arrived, we had nothing. And ang mga tumutulong sa amin, yung mga, mga Ilocano, alam naman natin, ang daming Ilocano doon sa Hawaii. And po, lumalapit sila, tinutulungan kami, nagpap, uh, nagluluto sila, nagpinapakain kami, nagkoleksyon pa para uh -huh. makabili ng refrigerator, kung ano-ano. So, you know, you can imagine, this is some, somebody who... who, who Mararamdaman mo talaga oh, yeah, yung yeah, pagmamahal yeah. ng mga tao. So, ang aming iniisip, sabi, kailangan natin magpasalamatan itong mga ito. And this is what, how well do you serve the province? But also, I wanted to be part of the national debate. So yes. I entered, sabi ko, ideal ang Congress. 
At uh, hindi ko naman iniisip ang pagka-Senado. Eh, napapag-usapan na lang yan. So, I, I guess here we are now, life as a, as a way of, of surprising us. And now that uh, I'm here, but I, I do not, I'm not, I did not go in, oh, uunahin ko yung congressman, tapos magsisenado ko, tapos tatakbo ko bilang Pangulo. Hindi ganun ang pag-iisip ko. Ang iniisip ko lang, paano maka, makapag, uh, makapagsilbi sa tao. And uh, we will see if uh, that comes, but it is not the end result. Because ang unusual sa atin dalawa, nakita natin yung pagkapangulo, hindi lang yung sa television. Yes. Nakikita natin kung gaano kahirap talaga yon. And the 20 years. I'll ask you, you know, long... Dave? Yes. Yeah. Kasi kaming lahat talaga tuwang-tuwa dun sa pelikula oh, ngayon. Did, did you feel it. the same way? I na, felt ano? it would have been wonderful if we could have uh, we could have done something like that. But oh, oh. Uh, unfortunately, it's ang sine lang yon. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have taken a, a little bit of a break. Okay, before we close, I guess ang uh, tatanayin ko lang si Bong. Do you think that the name Marcos is an asset or a liability in terms of politics? Sobra bang expectations ng mga tao sa iyo? Well, and uh, in not in, in a sense it is it is a liability mm -hmm. in that sense because they kahit na sinasabi ko no actually wala naman akong binabago sa yeah yeah you will be president in 10 years maraming mm -hmm. mga ganun uh, and you know you cannot you cannot uh, uh, say na, no i i have no intention it's, it's, it's somehow disappointing to them but that is not that is not essential uh, an essential problem uh, ang I think all, overall, in fact, I have not yet found a situation where it has been a liability. Um, uh, after all, I can come and uh, speak to you on your show, so being oh. a Marcos has not, uh, held, he has not held me back in any way. It's our pleasure to have you, Dibab. Would you like to leave a message since nationwide napapanood tayo ngayon, lalong-lalo na siguro sa constituents mo sa Well, na, lalo na na ngayon na napapag-usapan natin ng uh, mga kabataan. I would just like to... Uh, you feel you're still part of the youth? Well, maybe I'm... Pwede pa, di ba? Kasi under 39. Na, hirap and, na. And, namimili, uh -huh. namimilit na. <laughs> but uh, I still feel sympathetic to, to what, they, what they have to face. And uh, kung, kagaya na sabi ko, napapag-usapan ng kabataan, I would like, for, first of all, to congratulate all the delegates for the good work that they did uh, with the Pope's uh, visit. At ituloy ninyo yan, tuloy nyo yung pag, uh, pag uh, aktivista ninyo, tuloy nyo yung pakikialam ninyo, at kailangan kayo ng ating bansa. Do not stop, stay involved, we need you. Thank you very much, Congressman. It was a pleasure having you. Anything from you? My opponent question kasi yung mga taga-Pampanga, Bong Bong, kung tatakbo yes. ka daw talagang senator. Uh, mukhang sa takbo ng panahon, ganun ang patungo nung aking gagawin. Yes, it looks like I will be running for the Senate. Congratulations right? in advance. Yes. Thank you very Senorita much. Senorita Preciosa. Okay. No thank, you much, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much. You. Yay! Oh, yeah! Maraming maraming salamat po. Actually, you now will be back. Thank you, Congressman. Uh,